going to do an exercise for Siamese Mahjong using the National Mahjong League card. Siamese Mahjong is gaining popularity. So if you haven't tried it yet, what are you waiting for? It's very exciting and a lot of fun to play. It can be a little overwhelming. I'm not going to lie. That's why I encourage you to practice with random pulls. In this video, I'll show you how to do it. If you're new to Mahjong or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. We're going to do three random pulls. We'll alternate between player one and player two. So we'll get 28 tiles, then 27, and then 28. We have one, two, six, seven, eight, nine, and cracks with a pair of sevens, a pair of sixes, sevens, and nines. In dots, we have one, four, five, nine, pair nine. In bams, three, four, seven, nine, pair fours. We have east and south with a pair of souths, a pair of red dragons, and a pair of flowers. And then we have a couple of jokers. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on and what would be your first discards? If these were my tiles, I would play six, seven, eight, nine, pung, pung, kong, kong. And then I would play like numbers using these flowers and dragons with either fours or nines. And then I would use the pair we're not using as joker bait. I think this is how I would do it. Pung, pung, kong, kong. I mean, obviously, they're not pungs and kongs yet, but we could pung here, pung here, maybe kong that, and then build up that. But I, I wouldn't dedicate those yet because we might need them down here. We have like numbers with nines or fours and the dragons with the flowers. These are the right suits, so we have options. And I would go with whichever one builds up first. I would use this as joker bait and discard those. If you would do something differently, write pull one in the comment section below the video and let me know what you would do with these tiles. We have North and East with a pair of Norse, green and red dragon. We have a couple of flowers there. In our numbered suits, we have one, four, six, seven in cracks with a pair of ones and a pair of fours. In dots, we have one, two, six, eight, nine singles. In bams, we have three, six, eight, nine, pair three. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on and what would be your first discards? If these were my tiles, I think I would play something with two, four, six, eight to leverage the fours and then three, six, nine. 
to leverage the threes. I would gather for three, six, nine. I was thinking maybe we could do three, six, dragon, six, nine. But that's a possibility. We could also do maybe these flowers here, three, six, nine, dragon. Then up here, I would just gather two, four, six, eight. The challenge is when you're playing three, six, nine down here and two, four, six, eight up here, you're going to battle for sixes. So I think maybe play the concealed hand that we only need one six because the multiples are with the eights. We'd have to let this go. I would use this and this for joker bait and discard those. If we play the concealed hand, we could maybe use the jokers to help us with the eights. Three, six, the six is a pung. Maybe what we could do is put that six up there for the concealed hand and then use these for the sixes. This would go away. Three, six, six, nine, dragon in the middle there. And then up here, use this for the eight. That would go away. So let's just see if we have five discards, joker bait, and two hands. But I wouldn't do that yet. I would gather because we could still do three, six, nine dragon. So I wouldn't dedicate the jokers. I would just gather evens and three, six, nine. Do my best with the sixes because we're going to have to use them in both hands. Start by discarding here. Maybe keep that eight since it's in the category. Hold these for joker bait. That was challenging. If you would do something differently with these tiles, write it in the comment section below with pull two. We have two, three, four, five, eight in cracks. Pair three, pair four, pair five. I thought we were going to run out of room, so I started rearranging, but we really didn't need to. Here we have one, three, four, five, six, eight in dots, two, four, five, eight in bams, singles. We have n almost news. We are missing a west, but we do have a pair of norse. We have a pung of red dragons and a green dragon. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on and what would be your first discards? If these were my tiles, I would play three, four, five dragon with the flowers and then maybe north and south with a run. Three, four, five, dragon. We need a little help right here. Flowers. Maybe we could use that up there. We could pung here. We just need to build up there. But we also need help with north and south. But we have single, and then we have 
single, we could do single, single, and then pung or pair pung here somehow. Any variations, we'll keep them all until we see how it builds. We could do the same thing here. Like if we get a three and build up four or five, we can let these go. If we build up here, let those go. So let's just say we build around the dots. So maybe these would be our discards. So we have a lot of discards. I would consider reassessing. When, it, when you have more than eight discards for whatever your plan is, you might want to reassess, but I think this is a good plan. Maybe use this for plan B. If you have more than eight discards, come up with a plan B. See how you can utilize some of those tiles to help you if it doesn't quite work out, and then have clear discards. So this might be the way to do it. Build around the dots, plan B, Discard those first. Try to get some flowers. If you would do something differently here, write pull three and what you would do in the video description below. When you first get your dealt hand, arrange your tiles by suit in numerical order. Put your winds and dragons together and your flowers and jokers. Then look for the predominant pattern. Try to pick categories to play that will build around your multiples because that's still the strength of the hand, just like in the four player game. You really don't have to pick a hand or commit to a hand until you run out of discards. Just gather for your categories and then start whittling out your discards while you build around the multiples. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click that little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next video, may all your picks be keepers.